Twists and turns all the way, setting the standard for this men's super final. Chang Chung in China hosted round two of the FIS Freestyle Ski World Cup Tour for 23-24. And the women's super final saw a return to form for the world champion Kong Fang Yu under difficult conditions. She set an early lead score of 81.42 despite some mistakes. But it was Australia's double world champion Laura Peel who set the super final on fire, taking the speed and the air and getting in a double twisting triple back somersault. But mistakes on landing left the result wide open and the US team's Winter Vinecki took the big risks, also going for a triple somersault with two twists, but stuck the landing to take the win. Defending World Cup champion Danielle Scott of Australia had to settle for sixth place today, but Vinecki's big triple took the glory. It feels amazing. This is my second competition competing triples on snow. Just got them ready to go this last summer and now got to put some to my feet in competition, which is really exciting. So Laura Peel moves up to third place on the World Cup Tour standings. The teammate Danielle Scott holds on to second place. And that big triple somersault from Winter Vanecki pulls her from 8th place up to the top. The Chinese team had three men through to the top six super final. And this quadruple twisting triple back somersault from Li Qian Ma set the early standard with a score of 121.68. US number one Christopher Lillis missed out on the podium at World Cup number one. And had a point to prove here in China. 122.17 put him just in the lead. And with Olympic champion Qi Guang Pu crashing out of the competition, all eyes were on Permin Werner. The silver medalist from round one went one better here. So Li Qian Ma is the only Chinese athlete on the podium in the men's competition in third. Lillis, happy with silver. Top honors going to Switzerland's Permin Werner. Thank you, yeah. I mean, it's a win and I feel really, really good, yes. That win sees Werner go to the top of the World Cup standings board. So Hood Key slipping down in the second place and Christopher Lillis getting himself up into the top three in third. So with the first day of action wrapped up, the jumpers get ready to do it all again in the team competition on day two. And for more news and information on all things winter sports, why not try downloading the new FIS app?